Hey guys, how's it going? Mark from Double Clutch Auto Reviews here. Thank you again for tuning in for another how-to video. Today's gonna be a follow-up video of when I showed you how to scan your check engine light. Today, I'm gonna be working on my girlfriend's 2013 Hyundai Tucson, and we're gonna replace the part that is apparently throwing the code to give her the check engine light. The check engine code was P200A and P2004, or P204, and that was showing a problem with the intake manifold runner controller. So today I'm going to show you how to replace it. I did notice that there's not too many other videos on YouTube showing you how to fix this part. So let's see if this one will help you guys out and I hope it does. But in looking at the engine bay, looking down right here, this is the intake manifold. And looking down right, trying to get in the camera right here is what looks like is the intake manifold runner controller. That part looks pretty identical and it looks like the plugs would match up right there. So that's the part we gotta get to. So this is the part and what it looks like. This is the intake manifold runner controller, apparently. It was about 150 bucks, if I remember correctly, from the Hyundai dealer. This is a part that you can only get from the dealer, unfortunately. Also comes with this little piece too. So first I'm gonna take these two clamps off. Do those have to come off? Yes. Come on. Get it here, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll tuck that out of the way over there. So we're gonna have to remove this part of a coolant hose. There we go. That's perfect. Yeah. Good job. Uh-huh. All right, so what you're gonna do is pull this out, pull it out, and try to get it to not drain out anymore. If we're looking at our new part, it looks like we have three bolts to undo and a plug. This right there, ladies and gents, is the part we're replacing. There's one at the bottom, and there's one at the side, and one over at the top towards the left. I'm also gonna take off the air intake. I'm gonna take it off right down there with that screw. There we go. It's gotta loosen it a little bit. Oh, all right. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the air intake, this coolant hose, and the other hoses, now we're going to attack the actual part we're going for, now that we have some room. All right, now I'm gonna check and see what kind of, nope, that's way too big. See what size uh, socket I need. All right, looks like it's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna get our socket wrench, a little bit of an extension, and put it to loosen. All right, that's one. This one's a real pain in the butt to get to. Yep, yeah, here we go, got it. All right, that's two. And last but not least, the one right here. They did not put these in a convenient spot, I tell you, Hyundai. Oh, all right, got it. All right, let's see if it comes out. There we go. Ah, there we go. Ah, I got it. There you have it, folks. Out with the old and in with the new. So if you can see this little black piece right here, that's that little part that I showed you earlier. That needs to come out. Just be really careful getting it out. And pull that out, and that's that. I actually think I'm going to put this in first and then attach it. So that's going to go right there. And then I'm going to wiggle my new intake manifold runner controller into place, being very careful not to knock that black piece out because that's very important. Here we go, almost there. I'm gonna bend this piece a little bit, just a little bit, just to get it out of my way. Just be very careful not to break it. But this needs, this. I need some more clearance right here. Just a little bit. There we go. Here we go. All right, now that the new intake manifold runner controller is in and in its proper place, I'm gonna bolt it back on. I'll start with the hardest one at the bottom. And I'm going to put all the bolts in one at a time by hand. And then I'm going to tighten them down. And then I'll plug it in and then we should be good to go. Okay, that's hand tight. As you can see, I just pushed that back with my finger. That was easy to bend it off. All right, now I'm going to tighten them up. There we go. Yep, there we go. All right, bingo. That's good enough for me. And tighten down the last one, the easiest one to get to, of course. Bingo, that looks awesome. All right, now we take the plug and plug it back in. It should fit right on, man. Here we go, I heard the click. That's fully set. Just give it a little pull by, not the wires, but by this part, make sure it's not coming out. Good. 
that's on. All right, so now I'm gonna put everything back on essentially in the reverse order as we took it off. First, I'll start with the air intake and I'm going to grab this little washer. Make sure you don't lose that. So we're gonna stick the hose back on. This is probably gonna be difficult, but just gotta do it. Hey, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, put the washer on the screw and then line it up with the whole bingo. It's a little tricky, but it is doable. Now I'm gonna screw it back on, tighten it all the way down. Yeah. All right, that's, that's as tight as it can go, and that seems very solid. All right, now I'm just gonna line up the air filter and put all the clamps back on like that. Good. Now we're gonna take the coolant hose and put it back. Just be very careful. You don't wanna try to sp spill the least amount as you can. You know, it is what it is, but here we go. Okay, well, not bad at all. Now we gotta get the clamp. Let's see if we can just grab this. Yeah. Okay, got it. And move it down. Gently, no, I got it. Move it down right to there. Bada bing, bada boom. And now to finish the job, we have two more. We have this air intake hose and this one. So the longer one is gonna go to this side and the shorter one's gonna go to this side. So you just, come on. Here we go, pop that right on. And then this one pops that right on. Awesome. Pliers, needle nose preferably, whatever works though. And yeah, wiggle that all the way down. And wiggle that down, that was easy. And we're done. All right, so now we're gonna turn the car on and see if the check engine light cleared. If I can get the key in the ignition. And let it go. And look at that, check engine light's gone. Awesome. Let's close the hood up and we're done. All right, folks, there you have it. Hope this video helped you. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Check out my other videos if you are so inclined and take care and have a great day. Peace.